Hi guys, today we are going to create a little Elmer, okay? It's not going to be in a paper, it's going to be with a different technique, something like this, okay? To create this Elmer, you will need a brick of milk, a newspaper, glue, water, colors, and scissors. Come with me! Okay guys, the first thing that you will need will be uh, to put the same amount of glue and water in the same place. So once you have it, we have to mix it very, 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 very properly. And it has to be the same amount, okay? It's very important to have the same amount. This is called, well, I call it Mejunje Artatak. Can you see it a little bit? Yes? Okay, I have it ready. And I will leave it there, okay? And I will take my brick and I will cut with the scissors always. If they are very big, you have to ask for help, okay? So I have my uh, brick ready. And here I'm going to make the drawing of Elmer, okay? So let's go. Okay, so guys, I have my Elmer ready and now we have to cut it, okay? Let's go. Okay, so look guys, I have Elmer here. And now comes the best part. You have to take the newspaper and make little pieces of every page, okay? I will show you. Okay, so look guys, I have many of them and now comes the most difficult part, okay? You have to take, okay, let's see if I can do it with one hand. You have to take one piece of newspaper and put it on Elmer's picture and then add the glue with the water, okay? And we have to do many, 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 many layers, okay? So let's go. Guys, we cannot see Elmer because it's full of newspaper and glue, but we have to make many layers, okay, to have like a 3D Elmer. So even though, if you cannot see uh, Elmer, it doesn't matter, because when this gets dried, we are going to make him again. We have to use all the uh, pieces of newspaper that we have done to have a very fat Elmer, okay? So guys, look, I have finished. And now it doesn't look like an Elmer, okay? You will have something like this. It's a little bit heavy. On this part you can see the milk, okay? We have to let it dry, okay? For about one day, okay? Or maybe not one day, but 12 hours, yes. So, we can take a little bit of silo tape, long, quote. And what I will do is put in it like this. Okay, because it's very sticky. Okay, can you see it? And I will put it with a clip to get dried, okay? okay? So guys, I have it here, ready to get dried, okay? Hi guys, so 12 hours are gone and I have here my little feather. I have taken out the silo tape and now it's very strong. So, you cannot see an Elmer here. First of all, we have to cut all these papers, all these remaining papers, and then we will draw again with a special marker our Elmer, okay? So have your aquarels and our paintings and your markers ready. Let's go then. Come on. Okay, so guys, look. Now I have here my little form. And now I have to draw Elmer again, okay? And then we are going to color it. As you can see, it's not only a cardboard, it's very heavy. If you want to do it fatter, you can do it fatter, for example. When I was younger, I did this moon, and it's a little bit fatter. You can do it also with Elmer. This time I wanted to do it not so fat, so uh, it's quite thick, but not that fat. So now I'm going to draw again our Elmer, okay? I will take this. I have cut it and now let's 
go and paint it. We let it dry and I'm going to give it another layer a little bit later, okay? Okay guys, so I have my Elmer dried and now I'm going to, um, you, you know, um, do this little black line to make like a shade, okay, like a shadow. So, uh, let's go then! Okay, so guys, here I have my Elmer ready! My patchwork elephant. Now I'm going to use a little silver marker to make it more beautiful. Okay, so look guys. This is my Elmer. Okay, so guys, here I have my elephant, but I'm sure that yours will be more beautiful. See you next time. Bye-bye.